So guys, the, the basic idea of this take a break open lab time is just to give you a chance to try out some things. We've got some live equipment uh, that's running with mostly our classroom environment. Um, if you've been to one of the previous sessions, you already know that the login for the student account, the password is student. Um, what you will find on the desktop is a number of PDF files. And so you can click on and open those up. The challenge at the moment, though, is because there wasn't a real break between the last session and this, we didn't reset any of the machines. Not all of the machines were used. So if there's leftover stuff from the last lab or you want, there's a particular lab you want to do and you want some help getting your machine reset, just call myself or Forrest in the red shirt or Adolfo standing back there looking intently down. Uh, just call one of us over and we can help you get your machine reset um, for the particular lab that you want to play with. Um, that particular one is a leftover from the first session this morning. It's a whole thing. Yeah. So, uh, but the rest of them are just PDFs that are sitting on the desktop that you can experiment with uh, as you go through. Question? Pardon? Right. All right. So uh, we'll go through. Actually, Forrest, should I? Can I do a mass reset? Yes. All right. So we're going to do a mass reset here of the whole room. So any of you that were from the earlier 420 session, okay, tough cookie. All right, you need to stop now. All right, you're going to do it on that one. I'll watch your screen and type here. We split the room to try to improve network performance a little bit. So we have to do things twice. Of course not. Because the students in my first session broke into my machine and started doing my stuff. So they changed the password on me. Huh? No, well. No, it was, it was change me, because I stole it from Foreman, so I didn't have to remember something. Yeah, it didn't work out so well. All right. Oops. So get out of there. I'm in extra files. Oops, dot slash. That one, okay. <laughs> I'm not used to this password yet. It appears to have done. I've done A and B reset. <coughs> so in theory, all your machines, I think, are logging out. So give it a couple of moments. This finishes. So let's see, the one in the back of the room is pingable. I can SSH to the back of the room. So I did dot change whatever the change was. 
dot slash push, and that's going to push all of them? No. So I got to edit the file first? Oh. Well, I have to do them one at a time. All on one line? One at a time. So I got two done, it's doing three. I'm on four. How far do I go? Oh, living dangerously. Because that would have made sense. So this is the last thing, doing the pushes. All right, so folks, at, um, you can start logging in. Again, username student, password student. You will see files appearing on your desktop as we uh, finish the loop here of getting the files on there. So what we're putting out there are um, sessions two, three, four. Technically, five isn't happening because something happened with scheduling, and then six, which means you could do five on your own and sort of go through it. But that's sort of the sequence of the events are the different sessions. So if you came to the first neutron session, that's number two. If you came to the second neutron session, that's number three. Four is the one that just finished. Five doesn't exist. And six is what's going to happen after this session so you can get a precursor sans presentation. So um, double click on the PDF, follow the instructions, and have at it. <laughs>